I want to give you the definition of gambit. Chess, an opening in which a player seeks to obtain some advantage by sacrificing a pawn or piece. And in Army Field Manual FM 31-20-3, this came out two years ago. It was in use until 2004. The government went after WikiLeaks and had it removed, but not before it was posted elsewhere. And confirmed it was real and said it was a national security breach and it teaches Army captains and above how to stage terror attacks. And, of course, it was declassified two weeks ago by the State Department that Bobby Kennedy wanted to bomb U.S. embassies to blame it on the Honduran government to invade. And his brother, the president, said no. It was an idea of Robert McNamara, the same guy that then staged the USS Liberty with Israel a few years later when he was in the LBJ Administration. They also staged the Gulf of Tonkin. Our ships were never attacked on that date, and that's since been declassified. The issue here is governments all do this. This is a tool. The Russians do it. The Communist Chinese do it. The Nazis did it. Uh, the Italian government, a bunch of people went to prison in the government in the last few years for bombings in the 80s, where they would bomb school buses, police stations, and blame it on their political enemies. Every time an outside political party starts getting traction, in Italy especially, the government just blows something up and demonizes them on the news. Now, Operation Northwoods, that ABC News and the Associated Press report on, talks about staging shootings at U.S. military bases in D.C., i.e. the Pentagon. Grazings. What was it? Was it 2000? that it was all over mainstream news, BBC, you name it, that the Taiwanese president staged a grazing of himself in a parade when he was about to lose the election in two days so he could be a hero, and it actually worked. He wasn't really shot. They had a guy fire blanks, and they claimed he'd been shot and put some red, red fake blood on him. So I'm not saying that this was staged. We don't know yet, but the initial indications are it follows the same pattern and within one hour and five minutes of the shooting at the Pentagon, it was all over national news Thursday night that this guy was a 9-11 truther. Thousands of posts about being a libertarian, supporting the von Mies uh, School of Austrian Economics, uh, being a liberal, supporting Congressman Gravel, uh, being a 9-11 truther, uh, g g sending the Pentagon his nanotech ideas, that he was a manic depressant on medication. But out of, out of l literally scores of things he said, they chose 9-11 truth within an hour and five minutes to demonize 9-11 truth, just like they had the tragic attack on the IRS uh, office building, echelon building here in Austin a few weeks ago. And I went on air an hour and 15 minutes after it happened. What had happened basically at about 9.55, I went on air uh, at 11 a.m. that weekday. And I said, watch, they'll be blaming it on the Tea Parties and myself within hours. Austin American Statesman implied that I supported it. Total lie, total defamation, whatever. That's why they're discredited. Go Have fun. Tell all the lies you want. Uh, New York Daily News. Time Magazine, Newsweek, New York Times, going after who? Alex Jones. Southern Poverty Law Center, ADL, last week demonizing me, saying 9-11 truth is going to be violent. How did I know all this was coming? A year ago, Poplowski in Pittsburgh. 7 a.m., he's drunk, got home at 3 a.m. drunk. He's got two pit bulls. He's a former Marine. They're urinating all over the floor, his mother said. She said, I'm kicking you out. She called the police. He threw a fit and shot three of them. Within two hours of him giving up and being arrested, they put in the newspaper with a writer who writes PR pieces for the Southern Poverty Law Center and others that he was a fan of Alex Jones. And they had plants on the street outside his house saying, oh, I'm friends with uh, Poplowski. He likes Alex Jones. Total plants within two hours on TV. Then it turned out he actually hated me and attacked me for years on the Internet because I'm not a white supremacist. Now, why within two hours of those cops being killed would I be fingered as the person that caused it? 
just like Limbaugh was accused of causing Oklahoma City within two hours by Bill Clinton. Why? It's not Rush Limbaugh anymore. It's Alex Jones when this happens who gets blamed. And we got Glenn Beck blaming constitutionalist birthers, truthers. In the last few months, he kept saying constitutionalist birthers, truthers. They're going to get violent. They're going to attack. When there had been no evidence of truthers or birthers being violent ever, how did they know this? It sounded ridiculous unless they were getting ready to stage something and the talking points being given to the establishment were that we were going to be violent. Southern Poverty Law Center saying it, ADL saying it, Chris Matthews parroting it, uh, O'Reilly parroting it, Glenn Beck parroting it, gearing up, getting everybody ready for this to happen, for this to unfold. And so that's why I've been saying every day for the last two months they're going to stage terror attacks in America because they've got to. 9-11 truth in some polls, like Angus and Reid, New York Times, 84% of Americans question the official story of 9-11. Six of the ten commission members. They've got commission lawyers like Farmer writing books about how it was all a cover-up and a fraud. They've got all this coming out. What are they going to do? They've got the birthers, more than half of registered Republicans saying they believe Obama's covering up his birth certificate. So they have somebody we can trust, Glenn Beck come out, supposedly can trust, and say, oh, only 5% of the Tea Parties with no evidence are birthers and they're dangerous. They might do something violent. And then he sandwiches that bad info in with incredibly good info. I watched Beck Friday and I was like liking him. It was He was exposing how they're brainwashing kids in school and Mecha and La Raza and the New World Order and the UN. But he does that so he can then turn around on you a week later. The point is, that's why he's so dangerous. Because I've seen him over and over again at key junctures sabotage the true liberty movement. But but side issue, coming back from the break, I'm going to play parts of this Geraldo Rivera interview they did with me last night on Fox News so we can break down what's really going on here. Because I told you bef hours before, about an hour and a half before, within three hours of it happening, they were saying it. I said, watch, if this is staged, they're going to blame it on the Tea Parties and on 9-11 Truth. And they did. And then it turns out that a weird government contractor with Homeland Security owned the small hangar his plane was in, a Homeland Security expert on remote control aircraft. Turns out his family says Stack didn't write that. Uh, on and on and on. And the same stuff is now coming out with this guy. And then we have the underwear bombing where it's 100% confirmed that guy was a government patsy. That's all coming up. And, and where all this is leading, we'll be right back. So the private banks that have hijacked our country need a way to demonize the Tea Parties, the birthers, 9-11 truth. The government has the lowest approval rating in history, eight percentage points. Ron Paul has a national approval rating of 84 percent, won the Republican primary by 80 percent. So people that are constitutionalist, anti-New World Order, they're in the 80s. The rest of the government is at 8 percent. 8% confidence that the government cares about the American people. That's come out in multiple polls between 8 and 12. Uh, there's been uh, Rasmussen and other numbers. I'm sure you've seen it. We've covered it here on air. The point is people are waking up to the government. And people are learning about false flag stage terror. So what is the system going to do? It is going to let nutcases out of 310 million Americans now who they are aware of who are going to try to carry out crimes, go postal for whatever reason. They're going to let them attack and protect them, bare minimum, open doors up for them. But in some cases, they're also going to stage events.